Hey there friends, by the title of this video, you know that we have a lot to discuss, a lot to talk about today, and a lot to catch you up on. This past month has been probably one of the biggest whirlwinds um, our family has been through in a long time. It has just been so crazy, so for those of you that are new or maybe don't know anything about like where we live and that sort of thing, we do live in central Pennsylvania and um, we live in a house currently that we are renting. And whenever we moved into this house, we talked about the idea of possibly doing a rent to own or just outright purchasing the property. And that was about a year and nine months ago or so that we moved into this house. For those of you who have been around a long time, you remember the move, you remember um, a lot about just making this house our home, those sorts of things. So um, about a month ago, the owner of this home approached us, uh, sent us an email and just basically said, hey, we would love to know if in about a month if you could give us an answer on whether or not you want to purchase this property which we were really surprised by because initially we thought it was going to be longer um, that we would have more time to kind of make this decision and so we have obviously in the time frame of living here went through the pros and cons of if we would want to purchase this property if we would want to purchase this house and um, I could go really in depth with all of this, but to try to keep a long story short, basically one of our biggest goals um, for our family in purchasing land, purchasing a property, is to be able to raise our own beef um, and do some other animal livestock type projects. And this property has about three acres and a lot of it is a little tough to use. There's some area that's very wet. It's not very feasible to have animals on it. Um, it could be workable potentially, but not for what we have in mind. We would like to have some grazing pasture and things like that. Along with that, this house is fairly small. Um, it's been doable for us in the time frame that we've lived here, but our children are growing and it, ultimately it would need an addition put onto it in some way, shape, or form. So along with being contacted about whether or not we want to purchase this place, we also got a sale price for this house and we started doing comparisons of other properties for the same price or around the same price um, with more of the ideal situation for what we would like to do more land um, potentially a house with more square footage but might need work but the, at least the frame is there you know those sorts of things so all of that to say um, within literally the same like two days of making the decision that we don't want to purchase this property um, we just decided you know what it's not for us it's not where we, it's not ultimately what we want um, so we need to kind of figure things out obviously if the owners of this home are wanting to sell. So within literally two days of that, we talked to a um, acquaintance friend and he was like, hey, actually my dad has a house up for rent um, if you guys would be interested. So we looked at that house. It's actually double the square footage of this house. So it's a quite a bit larger um, than this home which is really exciting we'll get more into that portion of it in a little bit but it also just was a really great um, stepping stone for us to be able to have more time to find the right property to purchase so this house has more square footage and it also is in less expensive to heat because it has better insulation and things like that in that house. So that's really incredible to us because this house is extremely um, energy deficient. <laughs> it's probably instead of being energy efficient, it's, it's just, it takes a lot to heat this house because it's old, 
the house we're moving to into is also old we'll get to that but um it just doesn't have insulation in the attic and things like that so a lot of the heat goes out of it so we were able to find out that this house even though it's almost double in size is actually costs less to um heat and cool and those sorts of things so so that part is really great um now time frame so we are planning to live at this house for about a year that's our plan right now while we're looking for something else to purchase um the market in our area is really 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 tough right now um even my brother and sister-in-law are in the process they've they've tried to buy several houses in this area and stuff is just really cutthroat and difficult so we may have to go slightly out of the area i'm not even going to go into all that you can come along with us on the on finding our you know homestead and all of that but we just felt like this move was good for us because it gives us a more um, economical setup and it's also costs less per month in rent as well than this house. So it's just a better setup for us in the process of looking for our forever home or our, our purchase home. So I hope that all makes sense. I literally yesterday was like running through this video and like how to explain everything and why we're moving and that this isn't our, this is like a temporary home and it's just a stepping stone and i'm going to be honest this has been very emotional for us it's been a very quick situation now to move on to why this has been such a whirlwind so about somewhere between like four or five days after we like decided okay we're going to move to this other house we're going to kind of do this transition thing and whatnot and obviously this is all within like three four weeks time period that we're gonna be moving I contracted and came down with an extreme case of pneumonia and I don't know if you can hear it in my voice at all but I was literally pretty much like in bed between the bed and the couch for about 15 days and so it was like, oh great, we have a couple weeks to like really pull things together, pack the house, all of that stuff. And then this craziness ensued. And I ended up going to emergency care. It was just, it was an entire thing. I've never in my adult life been this, have been through this sickness. I guess if you have a level of being really sick or not as sick, this was the worst that I've ever had and I've had three home births and it, this was really, really, really bad. So um, anyways, all of that to say, I um, was able to go through antibiotics. I was, and I'm not someone that likes to take antibiotics, but I am so thankful, so, so thankful for it in this instance because I don't know if I would have fully got, it just, yeah, needed to happen, needed to happen. So I am doing somewhat better, but if you've ever had pneumonia, um, it just affects your lungs so, so badly. So like even you may be hearing me taking some breaths here and there in this, in talking is this much, but just the process of like going up and down the steps has really taken my it, like breath away and all of that. So can, you know, you imagine that type of sickness and then trying to pack your entire house and be like mom and wife and all of those things in the middle of this. It has just been crazy. But I'm so thankful we have family and friends and church, a church, um, our church that has just pitched in during this time and just really given us so much needed help. Um, and I'm so incredibly grateful for this. Going back to like just the emotions and everything, I think. A lot of it feels really emotional because we haven't had time like it feels like you know I went through all of this sickness and we're literally moving in a few days like when I'm filming this video and we just that's why all these plants are behind me by the way these are like I've been gathering my house plants on this table so that when everything's moved it's kind of in groups anyways um, so it's just been kind of like we haven't had time as a family or even for myself to really process like upheaving our entire home moving somewhere else and it's just been it's been a lot 
it has been a lot and there's been moments where I'm just kind of like questioning like you know why why now why all of this but I know that God has a plan and that's something that Corey and I both firmly feel we feel that this was meant to be we feel that this is what we're supposed to go do we have a lot of peace about it um, but the unknown of like trying to find a house to buy is also very out there too and so um, yeah so I just there's a I'm not a huge fan of Carrie Underwood but when I was a teenager I did listen to her some and she has a song called temporary home and in that song it just talks about like these are windows and rooms that we're passing through um, this is just a stop on the way to where we're going um, and this is our temporary home and that's that song has like come to my mind so many times during this whole process because um, yeah it's just a lot to move somewhere and know that you're gonna move again but it's also what I feel and Corey and I both feel that we're supposed to do right now so um, yeah so all of that to say obviously we're gonna have a whole new house um, to organize and get set up and um, lots of things going on in the midst of um, yeah just life and so I'm excited to take you with us on this journey this was so unexpected it was not in the plans for this year in our minds at all but God had a different plan and we're just excited to start the process of really seriously looking for a place to buy that we want and um, yeah so it's kind of the update this week has been really good I guess I can kind of go into like what's been going on so our church because of the state I've been in um, with just like being unwell um, our church has been bringing us meals which has been so incredibly helpful um, and we have people coming to help pack some of the house I'm like looking at this huge pile of boxes behind where we're at where you're sitting at um, the entire cellar has been packed my mother-in-law and sister-in-laws were so amazing came and packed that that was a huge undertaking if you guys are unfamiliar with my channel I do a lot of um, food preservation and stuff like that and so there's just a lot that goes with that and um, other than that I've just been like resting taking breaks a lot and being mom in the middle of it all of these things and so yeah it's been good it's just not I'm a very you all know if you watch my channel I'm a very do-it-myself independent person and so like this has been a very very humbling experience and you know like maybe that's God's purpose in all of this is just to help me realize that I need more community in my life and I need more people um, and need to be able to learn to accept help because that's a hard one for me I just love doing things on my own and so I know like my mom and Corey have both said that to me like well this is your like humbling experience to have somebody come help pack your house and just those things because I just literally like physically have struggled to accomplish a lot and the house that we're moving to like I mentioned is is quite a bit bigger I'm gonna have a school room there um, to do our homeschooling and um, yeah there's just more bedrooms and it's just it's got a, a bit more space it's a very interesting house it's on an 80 acre farm um, so there's like barns there and stuff and um, the kitchen has a lot of big open feel because there's a lot of windows there um, so I'm excited to show it to you all that's gonna be coming in the next couple videos because this is the last video that I'm gonna film in this house which is just crazy to me it just feels like I fell asleep for a couple weeks and woke up and now I'm moving like in the next couple of days um, just with the, the sickness that I've had and everything so anyways there's a little explanation on why we're moving and um, I'm excited to take you all with us for sure we have a lot of challenges ahead um, with with finding a place to buy and just figuring life out 
Um, and fortunately, like I said, it's kind of a friend of a friend that owns this house that we're moving to. So that part is very nice. Um, we're glad to, to be able to have great people to rent from and everything. So, um, I feel blessed. I feel challenged. I feel, um, just a big need to trust God in the middle of everything that's happening right now. And so, yeah. I hope that this was a good little update and I know that this is very unexpected and I know that you guys might have more questions. You can leave them in the comments below. I love chatting with you all there and um, I think that's everything I have for today's video. So thanks a lot for sitting and chatting with me. Thank you for all the support through the years that we have had so many different changes in our lives. and things that we have went through as a family. Um, and this is just one more stop, like that song says, on the way to where we're going. And um, we're just trusting God in the process. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the comments.